Hey guys, Milo Fowler here again with another uh, addition to the Armada build and as you see here I've got a 50 inch LED light bar, 4 2 inch by 2 inch LED lights and also a 20 inch LED light bar. And these are all from uh, Bulldog LED Lighting. Check them out online again, check them out at bulldogledlighting.com and uh, if you have not seen these lights you can also do another search for uh, Project Titan. They're a gorgeously outfitted uh, truck, uh, Nissan Titan that went to Alaska with uh, a couple of our Wounded Warrior veterans and um, you'll be able to see these lights all on there and what it really does light up and so uh, today's focus is really going to be around uh, this 20 inch LED bar because the 2 inches and the 50 inches are all going to go up on top of the Armada a little bit later this week when I get my uh, 72 inch roof rack from Fab Fours and Fab Fours is also the one the company that uh, was able to build me this uh, front bumper which houses the worn 12,000 pound winch as well so today again we're going to be focusing on the 20 inch LED light bar and I'm going to share with you a few things that will help you install your LED light bar and make it a little bit easier. Okay? Hang tight. Okay, so um, how, the, how the bolt brackets and everything works is, first of all, you'll get all the hardware needed from wires, switches, nuts, bolts, washers, everything uh, to install uh, your LED lights. And so... I'm just using this 2 inch because it's small, it's light, same exact dimension as the 20 inch light bar, not, not off by much. And so as far as the nuts and bolts, um, this is the main bracket that's going to hold everything together. And so when you tighten everything down, the first thing you need to do is actually put this uh, bolt through here so that it locks because this is what's going to go down through into the bumper then on the bottom side. That's where you put your nut and washer and everything down on this side. And so for now, we actually don't need to really include that bolt for the time being. Uh, just because what we're going to focus on is measuring out and see how far you know we want to have the lights stick out this way or backwards and um, so as far as the first bolt on the back side of all of the light bars regardless of the 2 inch the 20 the 50 whatever there's always going to be this channel here and that's where you want to install you know this bolt right here it's pretty easy to do and then you put your bracket on the back side so naturally what you may want to do is put you know the washer the nut on here and the nut on there and so what we're really looking to do right now is just find a good measurement a good place as far as distance you know again with the bracket on there and just kind of holding everything together there and uh, just moving forward and backwards and uh, I'm not too worried about the wiring because it'll actually go right underneath there's plenty of room for that to fit and uh, some things you may want to take into account are things that may get in the way underneath here and so uh, what I did to measure uh, my center line of the bumper is um, I tried the front, you know, fascia right here, but you know that's kind of uh, screwy. So what I did was I went to the center of the bumper, and right here in the Fab Four is the middle of the logo. From this peak right here to the inlet is the exact same measure as it is from this peak to this inlet. And so in a second, I'm going to show you a tool that I use to help uh, transfer that measurement on over to the top to help find my center line going left to right. And so that's pretty much what I'm doing right now is just trying to find a good fit as far as forward and backwards for uh, the brackets and then I'm going to mark it out and then make my pre-drill. Okay so I mentioned that I, I used another tool to help transfer the center line measurement up to the top and what I had was, um, this is actually from another project I, I made for my wife um, and uh, so I just bought this and I think it was like eight bucks or whatever it is at your local hardware place. I think I went to Home Depot and grabbed this one here but pretty much what I did was just um, align this here with the center of the logo there in the peak for the Fab Fours bumper, and I'm using a pencil here because, you know, it's easy to see lead on this powder coat here, and then I can just, you know, rub it off, and uh, you don't really see the mark, and so I'm not using any, like, Sharpies or any of that stuff there, but essentially just find the center marker there, transfer it to the top, and then make a line, and so now, there, I can measure, um, you know, however many inches I want this way to the left or to the right, and then uh, make some eyeballs right there as far as... Um, you know which way I, I would want my bumper to go so now it's just a matter of figuring out how far back or how far forward I want and uh, again the cables I'm not too concerned about them because there's plenty of room for that to go underneath uh, the fascia here in the bumper so that I can run all those wires there so anyways that's what I used right there pretty easy nifty tool so if you got one of these um, you could probably use another triangle you know if you got a carpenter square just lay that up on top transfer the lines up and over so you get a center measurement for everything that you need so that you know the things are not off 
Okay, so now that we got the line transferred up on top, the next thing that we need to do is uh, just grab our bracket and um, measure. A couple of very important things here is um, your hole is going to go from the top, obviously, down it, through the bumper and then down below. And so what you need to make sure of is that you've got nothing in the back side here. So I've got the worn uh, Xenon 12. It's 12,000 pound rated winch, so it's a little bit big, I'll be honest. And so luckily there's plenty of room for that on the inside. And so what the winch does is actually it flattens out here, then it goes up in the middle quite a bit, and then it goes back down here. And so I don't want to go too close here on the inside. And so what I'm going to do is instead of measuring five inches from the center line this way and five this way, I'm going to go seven inches. So I've got a lot more room. And so um, this bolt here that will go on the bottom of the bracket, uh, like so, um, is going to you know go through essentially. That way it'll be a lot easier for me to put the washer and the nut on the bottom side of it. And so take look out for that uh, and uh, just make sure you got plenty of, of clearance uh, so that you can get inside there and uh, be able to tighten everything down. So again, I went seven inches from the center line of, uh, of my marking here to this way, to this way. And um, one of the most important things is that your bracket is also going to be uh, the item that needs the most clearance because um, anything behind that, your light's going to be in front of the bracket. So. Uh, your light's going to be on this side of it. So what I did was just essentially, um, you know, just use a bracket and from the back side of the bracket to the front um, part of the armada there, right by the grill, I uh, just made the you know, measurement there. It's about a half of an inch. And so I did the same thing over here, about a half of an inch at my seven inch mark. And so that's where I've got my, uh, my plans are to drill right there. And um, that's pretty much the next thing that we need to do. Okay, the next thing to do now that you've got your uh, holds drilled is just grab your LED bar, flip it over like I did right here. I put mine on my gloves, so if you have like a workbench or carpet or cardboard. Um, the next thing to do is actually find the center mark of your complete light bar. So for mine, it was actually uh, 10 and 3 eighths. So go this way, mark 10 and 3 eighths. Uh, go back this way, mark 10 and 3 eighths. Make sure it is the center line. And again, I'm still using a lead pencil because this is black and you know, that can easily rub off so you don't have you know big marks anywhere now on our pre-drill um, what we did end up doing was from our center line of our bumper uh, of my bumper I went from here this way seven inches and then same thing from this way I went this way seven inches so uh, the reason why you've got to measure that out is because the next thing you're going to do now is um, put these brackets on and so uh, with the brackets these bolts go in here and again, this is, you know, the bumper is going to be down below. You put your washer, your nut on it from inside. Um, as you see, the, uh, the head of the bolt just locks itself inside this channel groove here. Same thing on the inside here. So what you do is you know, put that on there, wherever you're seven inches or wherever you need to put the bracket. Put your washer on there, your nut, and uh, just simply snug that down pretty good. Do the same thing on this side as well. And then go to your bumper or where you're placing your LED bar and then test fit it. So again, all I did is find a center mark, uh, find my two ex additional marks for the right bracket, the left bracket, snug everything down. And then the next tricky thing is going to be figuring out um, how much of, a, of an angle, you know, tilt you're going to want to have with your LED bar. So for now, we're just going to fit everything and um, we're going to go uh, turn the lights on later tonight and see what's going to be best for us. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now is uh, actually test fit everything. I've just uh, bolted on the um, the back side on both sides. You see there with the nuts washers, and this one, uh, these actually go down. And so, pretty much, um, it would just uh, drop right in, like so. You know, pull the bolts down on the bottom, and you know that's kind of a good estimate now. The really awesome thing is, uh, what you see how the light bar is? Another great indication uh, that you're right on the middle is that uh, in the middle of the whole light bar, there's going to be this um, you know, middle line there. 
And so I'm just going to grab this, just make sure things are okay. I'm going to put this side right here with the peak, and then this top side underneath here, because that should create a 90 degree, and that should allow me to know if uh, I'm off, you know, by anything. So I'm just going to shove that under there and line that up and you know, put some pressure on there and that's pretty sweet I mean, that's flat that's flat and this right here just meets the top of the middle part so that tells me that the whole thing is perpendicular uh, now it's just a matter of putting on the the washers and the nuts from the bottom side and then test fit that and see um, what the light looks like as far as um, you know from the side front top um, I don't know if the top's gonna matter much but we're almost there I mean pretty easy easy way to install everything really sweet and so here we go okay so now that we've got the light bar in here I've actually opened my hood as well because I uh, just decided to run the wire under there and um, that's gonna be pretty easy because there's plenty of room in there to hook up the harnesses and we'll do the wiring part next but so I've got the, the washer on here and the, the nut um, already going here so I've got a half inch um, again it's pretty easy to, to get this inside there and just tighten that down so what we're okay so that's pretty much um, snug on there pretty good looks pretty awesome so now it's just a matter of running the wire through here and then uh, picking it up so Okay guys, so um, now that we've got the 20-inch uh, LED bar bolted down with uh, the nuts and washers down below, the next thing that we're going to do is uh, actually really easy. Uh, right now I actually have everything all wired up. Uh, my camera battery ran out of, uh, you know, died last night and so I wasn't able to continue filming. But I was able to wire everything and then uh, go out into this little uh, trail and turn the light on. It's insanely bright, I'll tell you that much, but the wiring is really easy after um, we filmed the last segment. Um, it just literally took me about another 15 minutes to do all the wiring. Most of the time was actually spent uh, just hooking up the um, the switch and drilling that out and wiring that into the cab. So really, um, the next thing that you do now is you grab the harness, and this is the, like again really easy. So all the adapters are the same, uh, whether that's on the two inch, the 20 inch, even the 50 inch. You've got the uh, the female end right here, um, and. Um, you're, you're going to get all your uh, wiring harness and everything in a bag. So I took this out already. So you'll get some fuses. Uh, so it's pretty easy. That's the really awesome thing. It's pretty quick. And so it was just a matter of uh, figuring out how much cable we needed. And so this is kind of where everything uh, connects to is your relay. And so you'll get this white wire right here. There's a fuse that goes in here. And this goes to your positive side of your battery terminal. And so that got that wired all the way. It's hooked into the positive side. Uh, again, that's the only white wire that's here. This here is just uh, the ground. You can hook that to anywhere. And so I've got my relay actually set up over here, which I'll get into here in a second, but that's just, you know, bolted down. Um, and then this piece right here, this is the one that's gonna hook into your wiring harness uh, from the LED light. So this one here would just go, you know, snap right in there and then uh, connect all it. So what I'm gonna do is, um, in a bit, I'm actually going to run electrical tape just over everything just to kind of seal it off all a little bit more, even though there's this seems like it's a waterproof housing of some sort. Uh, but again, just to be safe. So that's kind of where that connection goes right there is to the LED light. And then the other one, which is the longer piece, this is, um, I don't know how many feet it is, but it is pretty, pretty long. And so um, this is the section that goes to your switch and again the switch is included in all of this it's just an on on, on and off switch and um, within the switch as well you'll get a little wire uh, this is to ground the switch um, you can use this if you want or not I recommend you do because uh, there's a little light on here so when, you, when your light is on inside this little orange light will turn on as well and so this little wire here you'll notice that there are three um, prongs on this and the ground wire will go to the one that's copper, the darkest one. It's on the bottom, one of the bottom sides. You hook that up uh, like so, and then your white line, again, this is uh, your power here. This will go right into the middle, and then the black one will go right up on the top. And then, again, this one goes to your ground somewhere inside the cab, maybe one of the metal railings in there. But after you hook that all up, what I did actually last night was I tested everything out right here. Um, I hooked everything to the wire, uh, to the positive side of the battery terminal 
the negative, the ground, I hooked everything to the switch and I was out here, um, you know, just testing and making sure everything was good, make sure the switch was fine and so I was here and then I just unplugged everything and then ran it through the entire cab and um, went out last night, turned it on a few times. So now we're going to take a little bit closer of a look of kind of just how I mounted things and that's pretty much the next thing to do now is just wiring it up and again it's pretty fast, pretty fast. The, the part that may take the longest is uh, figuring out how much additional where you want to uh, put your uh, relay and if you need longer cables to run to your battery or if you need longer cables to run inside your cab um, one of the other actually two of these are going to go on the very back side of my armada so when I go in reverse they will light up and you know provide more light back there so I'm sure I'm going to have to run more wire up to the front to the switches and whatnot so really that's pretty much the next thing you do very easy Okay, so um, here we've got my relay actually set up right here. And again, this is the white wire that runs to the positive side of the battery terminal. One of the other, uh, one of my other videos that you'll, you can see as well is how uh, I install the AMP power steps. So whenever the doors open, those steps, they open up as well. And so um, I've got that actually set up right here and that I had to run into the interior in the cab. And so all of those wires actually run down below by the frame and then up underneath uh, my uh, both my passenger and my driver's side seats and so there's already a grommet hole there and so I've got a um, a bully dog a GT tuner and that I ran through the, the grommet that goes through the firewall and so that was a fight um, it's just way too tight down inside there and I've got you know the master cylinder and everything is just really tough to get back inside here so I decided not to run you know just two simple wires you know through the cab I just um, you know through that grommet there so I decided to run it down and up and underneath the armada and then back up uh, underneath the seat and then just run the switch there so this is where i put the um uh the relay here i'm going to bolt it down here in a second from now and then the ground is just you know hooked up to i just took out one of these uh bolts right here put the ground under there so that's totally fine and um that's pretty much all about it so now we're going to go on the inside and check out um, where the switch is mounted and how i did that Okay, so now we're going to go inside the Armada and voila! As you see, I've got the, um, the AMP uh, research power steps. I love them and um, you know, we, we live here in Utah, that's why I'm wearing my coat today. Uh, it's actually snowing and kind of chilly and hopefully you probably can hear it in my voice as well. But really, um, the wiring for this, I had to come up um, into the cab to get into the wires and relays and all that fun stuff here. And so in the armadas, there's actually a grommet uh, hole right about here, somewhere right in this region here, about the size of a nickel. Uh, so all I did um, was drill through there, and I already have uh, there, the wires for this coming up through there. And so for the uh, Bulldog LED lights, um, this is the piece that you're going to want to you know, run into the cab, whether that's through the firewall, um, or if it's, uh, you know, you've got a different way, whatever it is you want to do. And so all I did was run these uh, by the frame and then up and under um, the carpet. And so to get to the carpet, uh, underneath the carpet, for me, all I had to do was pull this off, uh, definitely dirty, and then the side kick panel, pull that out as well. And, um, and then just pull the carpet back. And then so, uh, you know, the wire is just coming up underneath. And then here it is right here. So really the next thing to do now that you've got your wire on the inside is um, find the right diameter for the switch where you want to put, put that. So I'm going to actually put the, the 20 inch right here, the 50 inch right here, and then my fog light switch is going to go right here as well. I haven't hooked those up yet. And then uh, my rear auxiliary lights are going to go right here. So I'm going to have three different switches right here just by my pedal mover and then my rear uh, sensor, you know, backup sensor and camera and stuff there. So um, the cool thing about this is uh, the diameter uh, hole that I needed was about the size of a penny. So if you have a penny laying around, yeah, you know, there's probably quite a bit of them, but you know, just what I did was um, just make sure it was the same measurement, and it was for me, and then I just put the penny up right here, and just drew a circle around there, and then I grabbed my drill bit and then just started cutting away and uh, filed the edges off a little bit and then made a quick test fit. And so after that's done with, the next thing to do now is get your wiring, as you see right here, hanging still. I, I got to zip tie that. Get these wires here and even the, uh, the negative side of the cable here. Uh, that's pretty tough on there. Uh, get these and run them through the hole and then attach everything while it's hanging out here. 
and then uh, once everything's hooked up, you'll then just push it back in there so it will snap and lock in place. Okay, you probably don't want to pull this, you know, try to take it out and in quite a bit because it's a little tight back in there as well. And so, again, this little uh, 10 inch uh, ground wire here, what I did was there's a screw right here that goes to the metal frame, and this is one of the screws that holds this complete beige, um, you know, whatever the heck you call it. It's, right there but it's hooked to the metal and so that's where my ground is at and then I don't know if you can see that but my LED lights are actually on right now and so if you do not ground this uh, your light on the switch will never turn on to let you know that hey the, your front lights are on or off and so um, I thought about running this to my headlight system um, but I didn't because that's gonna take a lot more time and I can definitely see this light um, as well whenever I get in or out of the vehicle and so um, Turn it on and off, make a quick um, test, you know, turn it on, rev out to the front of your vehicle or wherever your light bar is at, make sure it turns off, make sure it turns on and off, and um, and go out and have some fun and light it up at night. And so, uh, again, my wires and everything's all hooked up. So now the next thing to do is just uh, zip tie everything in place, um, put some electrical wire where I have some connections just to protect things a little bit better, uh, keep them away from the elements, and then um, go out and light light it up and so again this is pretty much the 20 inch LED bar from Bulldog LED lighting go check them out online at bulldogledlighting.com or do a quick search for them uh, wonderful company everything is 100% made in America which is freaking cool uh, from the wires the relays the nuts the bolts the washers the lights the staff the team everything here is uh, based in America so let's go support them and uh, the next thing I'm going to do now is um, start looking at my measurements for my 2 inch LED lights that will go on the back of the Armada so whenever I go into reverse those will light up and then I'm going to start measuring the lengths uh, for everything that I need uh, for my 50 inch LED bar. Again I'm going to wait off on that one a little bit just because um, that's going to go on a, a little bit after I put on my 72 inch roof rack from Fab Fours. and so um, there's one of my other next door neighbors they also have a beautiful Armada and this is you don't need any big shop any crazy tools um, you know to do this install it's that easy I just did it all here in front of my house and uh, just on a nice concrete padded floor so that's pretty much everything for the 20 inch LED bar go get your own and install yours if you have any questions or comments you can subscribe or you know comment below and hopefully this helped you now we're just gonna make sure the lights and everything turns on and um, make sure everything's good and fit so snowing right now here in Utah and there are the lights on, off, on, off. So again these lights are pretty bright and you can get your own again over at Bulldog LED lighting. So uh, the next thing to do really when you're when you got everything lit, everything pretty much in place is just really find the right angle uh, for your LED bar and uh, you know find that right trajectory and so um, you get everything you need in your uh, in your kit, I mean, your, from the lights, the bolts, the nuts, the washers, the fuses, the relays, the wiring, I mean, everything is there. You may just need to get some additional wires if you need, if you got like maybe a longer SUV or maybe a, a, a full-size truck or whatever. Um, definitely, you know, this is the 20 inch, again, this is the spot flood combo and um, really lights up quite a bit, Mo a lot of, um, you know, up front and within about the first uh, about 100, 150 feet everything is pretty dang bright and so anyways um here we are in utah snowing away and um pretty much that's what you would do to install your kit 